from somewhere in Hollywood. It's the, 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 the Tom Micah Show. Oh, my God. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's every kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is. Hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TALK. 1-800-5800-866. A brand spanking new episode of the Tom Likas Show. That's right. <laughs> I told you, this summer you're going to be seeing too much of me. You're going to be begging for mercy when it's all over. It's like Likas 101, the ongoing on-air adult education course that teaches men how to get more tail for less money. Just as importantly, we teach women how men think. At 1-800-5800-TOM, if you've got questions for your professor, this is the time to call them in. In fact, the rest of the week, like open phones on Friday or other times, that's not the time to call them in. This is the time to call in with questions for your professor. 1-800-5800-866. And by the way, if you're listening to us uh, on an online stream from somewhere outside the United States, our normal number won't work. So here's the phone number for our international line. The country code is 1, the area code 323, and the telephone number is 520-6211. I'll give you that whole package again. 1-323-520-6211. It's your professor on Likus 101. Nathan on the Tom Likus Show. Hello. Hi, Dad. Son, how are you? Uh, I'm doing. Uh, I'm not doing too well, actually, Tom. Why not? Uh, I just uh, got a bad drunk argument with, uh, with uh, unfortunately, a girlfriend. I hate to say that word, but uh, I got one of your students next to me driving, and he's uh, slapping me in the face for this. But uh, she, uh, we got a drunk argument. She said I hit her. I just did some time in jail, man. And uh, now, by the way, the, uh, by the way, why do you? Why did you have a girlfriend? Ah, why did I have a girlfriend? Right. Um, you know, I don't know. I was juggling six girls last summer, and, you know. What was I, wrong I with that? I, nothing wrong with that, man. It was a good time, and, you know, I guess I, I, I you know, I don't know. And now he's he's turning me on to you, and I'm listening to you, and, and uh, I wanted to call see what's going on, man. You're not supposed to have a girlfriend. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. And then once you've gone to jail because of that person, you should realize the mistake you made, and she's not your girlfriend anymore. Yeah. So what's the problem? Uh, well, now I need the Hail Mary explanation. Tell me something about the Hail Mary, because uh, she's preggy. How long were you in jail? About six days. i got to go back. Uh, six you know, days? For, for a couple days, yeah. Mm -hmm. And why didn't you use a condom? Why well, didn't I use a condom? Right. Well, my dumb ass thought it felt better. Well, it, it, uh, let me ask you this. When you, have to, when you have to make 216 monthly payments for 30 seconds of ejaculation, is that going to feel better? No way. Yeah, well, it, it, why didn't you think about that? I should have. I got caught up in the moment like a stupid person. Well, now you're going to pay for it. Ah. Yeah, yeah you right. can you can try the Hail Mary. But you can try the Hail Mary. What, can, what's that about, though? I got I got. Didn't your friend Hail tell Mary. you? He he was trying to explain her. He said to call you first. You tell her that you love her very much, and that okay. uh, getting married and having children is definitely in your future, and you want to do that with her. But uh, yeah. that right now, you don't have the money to do it right. 
You want to be married? You want to have money put away so that you have a, a down payment on a good place for your kid to grow up? You want to do things right? Yeah. And you tell her that if she has the abortion now, down the line, after you've been able to put the money away and after the two of you have gotten married, then it would make sense for the two of you to have kids. And then at that time, you'll be happy about it. That makes sense. Then, after she has the abortion, you cut her nuts off. There you go. You, you, you break up with her. Outstanding. You dump her ass. <laughs> Thank you. Now, it's called the Hail Mary because the chances of succeeding are remote, just like at a football game. Yeah. But it's the only sense. chance you have. All right. All right. Nine, because after that, if she decides to have the baby, what can you possibly do? Yeah. But you should have thought ahead about this. Yeah, absolutely right. Good luck, Nathan. Thank you. Peter on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hey, Hello. how you doing? Great. Well, I'm... I'm I've been listening to you for three years. I moved from uh, Central California, Visalia. I was an idiot at the time. I was uh, almost married. I'm 24 years old. Let me just mention. I was almost married, and I was with a, a bitch mm -hmm. for about, how can I say, we were... Hey, we're I'm on sorry. the air. Watch your mouth. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And uh, and she, uh, right when we bought a house together... Why were you was, buying a house with her? I have no... I, at the time, like I said, I was, I, I was like, I thought I was ready. I was... 20 years old. You, you're never house. ready. You should never be ready. Will you ever be ready to be run over by a car? No. Will you be ever ever be ready to jump off a building? <laughs> no. Why would you ever be ready to buy a house or ready for a woman to live with you? Why would you be ready for that? Oh, man. I was. I, was I got a hammer in my hand. Are you ready for me to swing it now at your head? No, no. Why not? not but I learned. I learned my lesson. Uh, she did a 360. She played on me. Uh, I was the goof and uh, i ended up uh, paying the price so i moved out here to los angeles now and um i'm working for a, a good job i'm making good money i've been single since but i'm now that i've been dating and you know and and, and you know making out with every other chick let me I guess you're it. gonna make the same mistake again uh no no yeah, that's yeah. The thing. i'm, I'm yeah, trying not to no i'm not yeah you are this is the thing this is the thing i i i've I've been dating so many women now, and it's fun. It's great. I've been loving Yes, but you've now. had your fun now, and now you want to settle down with one woman uh, so she can be the boss and tell you what to do all the time and beat the living crap out of your psyche. That's what you want. No, I, now that I, now I want to get advice from you. That's, that's where I'm at. I'm, at I'm, dating, I'm dating this girl, and she just doesn't. I told her already, the only thing that we got to do is just date, and that's it. And I'm and I told her my options are open. I am and I'm, I'm just having fun and I'm want to finish school, and uh, and that's it. And she's like, and I told her it takes two. If you don't like this, you leave. But she doesn't listen. So she's living with you too, home. isn't she? No, she's not. I'm living on my own. But she keeps on coming for more, for more sex. And I told her, I go, if it, she thinks I'm in it for the sex. And I told her, I go, if I'm in it for the sex, then why are you coming over still for sex? If it ain't like that, then why are you giving it up? You are in it for the sex. Oh, definitely. I'm in for the sex big time. So She's when wild. she says you're in it for the sex, the answer is yes, I am. I am. Why do you argue with her about that? That's true. No, you had a point there, yeah. I shouldn't be arguing. I should be saying yes. That we are in it for the sex, and that's it. By the way, and why do you even want to listen to this crap? Have you got no game, Peter? Uh, I, I do, I, you know what, if you've got I game, don't, don't then know. you don't have to listen to this. That's right. So if that's you've got I, game, I push her aside, dump her and that's yes. it. Yes. Move on. I've got no time for that stuff. I have a zero tolerance policy. Yeah, you're right. Give me any crap. You're out. Out. Definitely. Definitely. Tom, I'm telling you, I'm going to recommend you to everybody that from up north. I mean, they don't even they don't have your station up there in Visalia. There's a place called, you know. We were on in uh, Porterville for about a month and a half. And uh, we were sandwiched between the farm reports and the uh, farm reports. And then they took us off. Oh, yeah. We were on a station called K-Tip. Oh, okay. 
Well, not not the right want... place for our show. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Well, I'm I'm a big fan, so thank you so much for the advice, Dad, and uh, blow me up. Here you go, Peter. Like us 101, I am your professor, Sandy. Hello. Hi, Tom. Yes. I had some questions on some of the things you said. Okay. Okay, like you said, you always wear a condom, but then you got four abortions. Right. From women you've been with. That's How'd correct. that happen with condoms? Well, just as, just as I have said on this program many times, condoms are an imperfect science. Uh, they leak, they slip, they break if they uh, are held in, under anything but optimum conditions. And it uh, doesn't matter how faithfully you use them, accidents happen with them, and that's why they're only a backup system. So you should recommend a lot more birth control methods than this Well, problem. that's the only one that's open to men. And, uh, another right? Thing what are the other methods I should recommend to men? They are supposed to be coming up with the pill. It's not, but, but they haven't, and it's not available. Has, There's has one. It. There is one form of birth control available to men. That's it. Yeah. That's why I don't recommend other methods. There are no other methods. There's always a hand. Uh, no, that is not a birth control method. It keeps women from getting pregnant. That's uh, sure. Well, you know, it keeps women from getting pregnant. Uh, birth control themselves. Okay. Which is why men should be asking women what they're on, what they're taking, what they're using, how it works. Mm -hmm. Or no sex at all would be better. Uh, no, it wouldn't be better. Unless they're married. And then uh, no, darling. Do darling, birth. this is not a Christian radio station, okay? Uh, yeah. On our program, young men are sexually active. Okay, something else you said. You said you have a six-figure salary. No, I didn't. I, I did not say that. When you were talking, I to did a not girl say that. Were. No, I didn't. Yeah. No, I didn't. And then you also said, "Wait, wait, stop, a... stop." I did not say that. When you were talking, to I did. I, I did not. Do you hear me? I did not say that. <clears throat> did um, you hear what I just said? You said you did not say that. I did not. Okay. And uh, so. Anyways, you also said you'd never have another woman live with you, and just recently you kicked another woman out of your home. Uh, no, that's not true. You're talking about years ago. No, it's no, more I, like no, a year I know, ago darling, home. that's not true. Okay, it's simply not true. Okay, I was just making sure that uh, <clears throat> you. You, uh, I got all the facts straight from what well, you said. Well, your facts are not straight. Okay. I've been living alone now for years. Okay. Maybe you ought to listen more carefully. My husband listens to you. I listen to him, to you with him sometimes. Right. So that's just what I heard when I was listening. Well, to you need you. a new hearing aid battery or something. Okay. Or frontal lobotomy. Okay. <laughs> nice talking to you, Tom. Sure it was. Jesus Christ. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Like it. Any guy out there who isn't single and is just kissing ass to his girlfriend right now needs to get with the program and DTB. It's like is 101 on the Tom like it Show. Today. I'm doing wonderfully. Good, good. Uh, so am I. Look, I got a success story. I'm, I'm, I'm a bad person, gone good. I had a girlfriend for two years. Oh, 
was so in love, the whole nine nine yard story, you know what I mean? I'm twenty three, she was twenty seven, so she was much older than me. But you know, I thought I could make it work or whatever. My buddy found out I was going out with her and he told me, you know, listen to Tom like is listen to Tom, listen to Tom. So I finally tuned in to you. Everything was good. And then I found out she was cheating on me. You know, me as a good guy, because that's the way I was brought up, well, I, I didn't want to believe it. My buddy told me, he's like, look, let's make a plan. We're going to make this bitch pay. So I acted dumb. I knew she was cheating, but I, I held it all inside. I held all the anger, all the emotions, you know, what dumb, dumb young people like me do. And uh, her birthday was three weeks ago. And I was like, my buddy was like, look, take her to Vegas. Take her to Vegas. Let's do it. You know what I mean? He's like, take her to Vegas and leave her. You know? Ditch her. So, you know, I played out the whole thing. Like, I, I still, she was still cheating on me when I was at work and stuff. And I knew it. Everybody knew it. Her friends even told me. But, uh, you know, so I, I still, I was acting a fool. I was like, oh, yeah, I still love you. I still love you. Then birthday comes by i tell her look i want to surprise you i want it i, I want to make it all work i, I want to be with you for the rest of my life i gave her this whole mumbo jumbo crap we took off to vegas in my car okay i on purpose i left my cell phone i left my cell phone in my car and i i'm like okay we got to the hotel I'm like oh shoot i left my phone in the car i'll be right back baby i hopped in my car and I left. I left her in Vegas, Tom, with no money, no car, no nothing. So why did you... Wait a minute. Why did you leave your phone in the car? No, that was a plan so I could get out of the hotel without her, without her trying to follow me. You know what I mean? You le I'm trying to understand. You left your cell phone in the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I left the cell phone on purpose on, in my car. So once we were up in the hotel, she thought, you know, I don't know, we we're going to go out and gamble later on in the night and everything. I was like, look, I got to go get my phone in the car. You know, it was just my, it was just my story. It was my, it was my escape route. It was, it was I see. Like, I see. You know I mean? And so you left her in Vegas and did she pay the bill and everything? Oh, of course. Of course. Well, that's perfect. I told her, I'm like, look, baby, I don't, I, I don't want my, my credit card to talk to us. They're not, but I just told her that. But I'm like, look, let's put it on your card, and I'll pay you back as soon as my, my check comes in. <laughs> <laughs> and I got in my car. I had a couple buddies in Vegas. I spent the rest of the weekend in Vegas, and she was blowing up my phone. The only thing I left was, payback's a bitch. Please leave a message. Ah, ah, ah. So now, Jose, have you learned your lesson? Yes, I have. Um, I'm, I'm hardcore Tom Likas to the bone. I, I, I'm just out for the girls now. I'm out to get more ass in the toilet seat. Good for you. Yep, yep, and it's all thanks to you, Tom. Oh, Jose, I'm proud of you. Thank you for that. Wow. Paul on the Tom Likas show, hello. Hi there, Tom. Hi. Um, I was listening to you about two weeks ago. And there was this really crazy lady arguing with you about abortions and the pill and all that. And I wanted to make a comment about that. You say that men should always ask women if they were on the pill before they have sex. Am I correct? They should ask what birth control they use. And I wanted to let you know that that in itself is not a guarantee that no one's getting pregnant because i know for a fact i have a cousin who was on the pill and she got pregnant so i just wanted to put it out there that by all means you know use a condom use a you know the the pill birth control all that stuff but don't keep yourself into thinking oh she's on the birth control i'm on the condom everything's dandy it can still happen to you and I just wanted to let you know that. Well, of course, it can still happen. Yes. So don't just because the lady's on the pill doesn't mean you're scot free. So for all you guys out there thinking, well, I asked her, I did what Tom wanted me to do. 
don't keep yourself in the thinking. Oh, I've said, I have said, and I will continue to say, you always have to, have to wear a condom. Have to. It's just that simple. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Stephen on the Tom Like His Show. Hey, Tom. I'm so glad to talk to you, man. You're you're my hero. Why, thank you. Um, but I had uh, uh, two quick things. Number one, when is the... the uh, the good time period between first date and asking for the second one? Uh, at least a week. I, I I would wait two or three. Okay. You should always have uh, other plates spinning at the same time. Okay. And uh, the other thing I want to say, that lady, I think it was in the, in the last break, that, that said that uh, you told her that there was only one version of uh, male birth control. There's more than one. Yeah, what are they? The old snip snip, and I'm playing. That is not birth myself. control. Okay, that's sterilization. Yeah, but and in forty percent of the cases, that is non-reversible. Yeah, well, I don't ever want to have any kids. No, so but then, yeah, but again, we're not lumping that in. You know, women have the old snip snip too. I'm not counting that either. Well, that's true. All right, Tom, can you take me out tribal style? I certainly can. <laughs> It's 1 800 5 800 Tom. That's our telephone number. It's Like Us 101. I am your professor. This is Bob on the Tom Like Us show. Hello. Yeah, hey, Bob. This is Bob. What's up, Tom? Not much. Um, my twin sister, she just um, moved in with me like six months ago. Hello? Uh, do you need an uh huh every three seconds? I'm right here. Okay, yeah, it's in my phone, you know. Uh huh. Getting used to it. Um, uh huh. <laughs> so, my twin sister, she gets through a divorce a couple months ago. Oh, throw on the air! Uh, yeah. Um, anyway, it's her second divorce, actually. Uh huh. So she moves in with me out here in LA, you know, trying to get a fresh start and everything, and she keeps telling me, oh, you know, this guy I've been talking to in Virginia, like, you know, it's nothing, it's nothing. Then over time, she's talking to him on the phone. He gets out here to L.A., and she talks me into letting him move in with us. The guy is constantly smoking pot. He's, like, uh, taking over my refrigerator. He's doing all this crap, and it's driving me crazy, not to mention the guy's a total bum. He has a job making, like, 12 bucks an hour. You know, she's doing fairly well, so she's supporting him. And it's like, I just want to know what I can do to get this loser out of my house. Well, why did you let him in? Well, you know, I told her, like, up and down, you know, oh, you know, I'm not going to let anybody move in with us. But then it was kind of like he showed up one day, and it's like, well, what? what's he going to do? He and then why, why are you a pussy? Well, you know, it's my twin sister. I don't I don't care. Her, it's know? not your problem. Oh, yeah, absolutely, you know, but, uh, you know, she's my twin sister. I want to take care of her a little bit, you know. It's, it's not like, your, I, but you know what, this is this is not taking care of her. This is taking care of her pot-smoking boyfriend. Well, actually, you know, I told him a bunch of times, you know, like, you've got to do something, you know, otherwise she's going to leave you because, you know, you're a big-time loser. And me and my friend, you know, we, we uh, he's my best friend, he's here with me, and uh, we tell her all the time, see, we all three grew up together, and, you know... We both tell her all the time, you know, what are you with this guy? She seems to be so in love with him and everything. And it's like she says, you know, if uh, if uh, he moves out, then I move out. And, you know, the rent is pretty high. So it's That's like, great. Really... Huh? That if, 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 he, if he moves out, she moves out. Fantastic. Get another roommate. Uh, I hate roommates. So the only reason I got this new place was because, you know, I could afford it with two people. Then enjoy the pot smoking. Ah. Uh, well, yeah, but, you know, I'd much rather just have you her get rid of him. You can't change <laughs> other people's behavior. Do you understand that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. That means I mean, weed-smoking boyfriends, you can't get them to stop smoking weed. Uh, twin sisters, oh, twin sisters who have boyfriends who smoke weed, you're not going to get them to not date guys who smoke weed. Well, I don't even care about that. I just think that she needs to get with, like, get with it because she's a really you good looking girl. You can't change. Hello. You yeah. can't change other people's behavior. 
Yeah, but I mean, this guy, it's not just the podcast. You, it's like, how many times do I have to say the same thing? You. Can't change other people's behavior. Right. Yeah, I get that. But so I mean, stop trying to do it. Well, I mean, it's so bad for her. You it's know? not, like, there's nothing you can do. Nothing that, uh, well, nothing. I mean, okay, so there's nothing really I can do. So basically, nothing. it's just like let her make the huge mistake and just sit back and watch. That's all you can do. That's all you can do with anyone, any adult. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's a little bit hard to swallow. Well, that's how life yeah. is. Get used to it, son. All right. Okay, uh, if that's what you think. No, no, that's how it is. Well, I mean, the thing is, is me and my friend, we've been telling her for the past few months, you know. Uh, and, 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 yet, like, and it's proving well, my see, point, what, isn't it? Yeah, no, but the past the past two weeks, she's been saying to me, you know, I think you're right. Well, why hasn't she done anything her. about it? Huh? Why hasn't she done anything about it? I think the point is, is like she feels kind of bad because he moved out here to L.A. from Virginia Beach for her. And now she feels kind of obligated. Well, that's not your problem. You can't do anything about it. Well, I mean, is there something that she could say to him? Like, maybe. Like, I'm hey, not talking to her. Or... I'm talking to you. Well, yeah, but I mean, I could relay a message. No. No. She has to do it herself. Yeah. And she's not yeah. going to. I guess. No, she's not going to. All right. If you believe that she might, you wouldn't be calling. Well, I believe that she might. It's just I think that there's I think that something needs to be said to her. That's, you know, well, that's you've, you've been saying things and uh, they're not working because you can't change other people's behavior. Yeah, I mean, but the thing is, is like, you know, all of these things that she hates about, it's like she's standing on the edge. And I know you say you can't change people's behavior. It's like she's dangling uh, on the edge. And it's just, it feels like that if there's uh, something that can be said or something that uh, can be done. Hang on a second, John. What did you want to say to Bob here? All right. What is this guy talking about? Girl smoking weed is the hottest ever. No, no, not a girl. Her boyfriend. He he stinks up my whole place. She's not smoking it. He's smoking it. Eric, what did you want to say to Bob? Hey, Tom, how you doing, man? Great. Hey, Bob, I got I got a question for you, dude. You called in for to Tom for help, right? Yeah. Then what the hell are you doing trying to justify your your dumbass decisions? When Tom well, I haven't to actually you, done anything. No, no, That's no, the thing. Me, like I haven't really? done anything. I want to know Wait. if there was something I could do. Stop. Yes, you have done something. You made poor, poor decisions in, first of all, allowing your, well, helping your sister, I can understand. Allowing her, her boyfriend to look, move into your house. Dude, that's the dumbest decision you could possibly make. And you're trying to justify why you made this decision when Tom is trying to offer you some advice on how to do the right thing and how to get out of this. And you're sitting there making excuses. Well, it, telling me listen listen that I can to do. what you're saying. Listen to what you're saying. You're asking Tom for help, and he's he's telling you what to do. But you're saying, well, but well, this is well, like in, in actuality, right? he's telling me that there's nothing I can do. No, well, no, he's not telling you there's nothing you can do. He's telling you, get him out of your damn house. If your sister decides to move out, that's her dumbass decision, not yours. So you do what you need to do for you. Quit whining. Quit bitching. Get that. Well, the whole point was is I wasn't actually calling to find out what I could do about it. I want her to get rid of him. Well, you can't make her get rid of him. The only thing you can do is get rid of him out of get him out of your life. What your sister does is her decision, and all you can do is be there for her when she makes that decision. You can't make it for her. You can't guide her in the right direction because she's going to do what she wants to do. It's yeah, just like you, dude, but you, you know, most things, I don't even know what they want, so look, I don't even look, think that's right. 
So. If you had a girlfriend and your sister was saying, hey, this girl's a loser, she's bad for you, she's bad for you. Hey, come on, you really got to watch your language on the radio. You really have to. Sorry, Tom, I'm getting a little wound up. I, 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 well, I, I get wound up all the time, but, I, you know, it's rare that I have to dump myself. I, I understand. I, I, this is, I, okay. But, but do, Bob, you, you need to make your own decisions. You can't make your sister's decisions. Live yeah, your life you know, and let your sister live hers. Quit making excuses for the crap that you've done when somebody's offering you dis advice on how to do the right thing. What Tom yeah, is saying is I just, there's good advice. I guess, I'm just, I guess I'm just missing, like, where, like, what the actual advice is. I mean, Kick, all I'm hearing is kick the I boyfriend do. out! There's the advice. You can't get any more clear than that. Stop arguing that with me if you don't want my advice. Call another show. <laughs> hey, Tom, can you blow me up, buddy? I'll blow you both up. Tom Likas. 1 800 5800 Tom. Tom. 1 800 5800 866. Tom, I've never. I will, I've said this a couple times to get late, but I'm saying this right now and I mean it. I love you, Tom. The Tom Likas Show. <laughs> Tom is our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. I am your professor, Yuki. You're on the Tom Like Show. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, I want to know why you always got to be putting women down. Give me an example. Like, you, you think we're only good for sex. We're not. Well, uh, that's my only use for women. I don't know about you. We're we're good for a lot of stuff. Cooking, cleaning. Wait, step it up. When can you be over? What? When can you be over and get the job done? I'll, I can be over in, in like in an hour if you want. Yeah, I do. Like for real, like we're. we're you not think I'm kidding? Like, I'm not what? kidding. Come over. You you really want me to go over? If you're gonna clean up, yeah. <laughs> I'll clean. What do you look like? What do I look like? Yes. I'm I'm five eleven. I'm one oh five. I have long black hair. I have long black hair and green, big green eyes. Really? Yeah. Do you have a nice ass? I do actually, and, I ha and my boobs are pretty good too. Actually. Really? What's your cup size? My cup size is a D. Really? Yeah, and they're natural. They're not fake. My goodness. I know. Well, if you want to come over and not only have sex with me, but clean up and make me dinner, I'm in. Okay, I'm not going to have sex with you. Like, do you really think I'm going to have sex with you? Why not? You say you're good for more than just sex, so I'm assuming that means sex and more. No, not only sex, but a lot more stuff. Well, but the like, point I'm is, if you're not good for sex, why do I need the rest of it from you? Oh, my God. Are you serious? I'm serious. This is so ridiculous. Like, why would you say that? Because it's true. It's not true. Yeah, it is true. I've got plenty of friends. I don't need new friends. Oh, who said I was trying to be your friend? Well, then what do I need to know you for? You're the one that's asking me how I look. Yeah, but again, if you're not going to have sex with me, it doesn't even matter how you look. Oh, well, I don't want to have sex with you. I just want to know why the hell you be putting girls down like because that. Because I'm that's telling that's the truth. Because the only true. girls that most guys want to know are girls who put out. Yeah, and honestly, well, the only reason thing. we uh, the only reason we ever have conversations with you is because that's the cost of doing business. That's the only way we're going to get to have sex with you. No, well, you know what? One day, every single guy is going to meet that girl that's going to screw them over. Because that's all guys are doing right now. Your mouth, we're on the air. Sorry. That's not funny. I'm sorry. Like I got, I'm mad. I'm just. Mad I don't care. I look. I get mad all the time. I don't use the f word. I know it's because I'm. That's, it's I because you're a low class, low rent, big mouth broad who wants to call in here and blab. I am not low class. Oh, really? But you call in and you have to use the f word within three minutes of getting on the air. Oh my god. 
Oh, my God. Okay, I'm not You think that. that's a classy <laughs> thing to do, do you? Um, no, that's not a classy thing to do. It's just I was mad. I don't I care. I get mad all the time. So what? What word should I use then? What? What word should I use? I'm not, use not, well, I'll tell you, you, I'll tell you, read a book, get some vocabulary, and then call back when you can express yourself without using the F word. Okay, then I will do that. I will go and get a book and read it. Good. And so my vocabulary is perfectly fine, and then I'll call you. Yes. Please. Sounds to me like you're short on vocabulary. No, I'm not. What is your native language, darling? My English. No, it's not. Yes, it is. What what kind of accent is that? Um, I don't know. You're lying to me now. Darling, I've been around the world, and I've dated women from outside the United States, and clearly you are not from here. Um, yes, I am. Yeah, where were you born? Uh, in Ventura County. No, you weren't. Your parents yes, weren't born there. Where were your parents born? In Ventura County. Really? And they all talk with that Ventura accent you have? Is that a Ventura accent? Um, yes, pretty much. Oh, you're so, so you're so full of crap. You know, I, I, darling, don't don't take me for an idiot. You may not like the show. You may like the way, not like the way I talk about women, but don't take me for an idiot. I wasn't born yesterday. English is not I'm your not native saying, language, and that is why you're short. Yesterday. That is why that is why you're short on vocabulary because English is not your first language. Oh yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Kevin, do you believe that that's her first language, English? Oh, I believe her first language is Samoan. You know, she sounds she sound like she could be from the Booyah tribe town, you know? <laughs> Kessler or something. All right, well, thank you for that. Uh, here's another Kevin. Uh, Yuki, do you think she's from the United States, Kevin? Uh, no, nah, I, I don't think she's from the United States. Where do you think I'm from, then? Some other country. So, yeah, probably some other country or Hawaii or something. No. It's just, I don't know. It sounds like you mumbling when you talk. It sounds like it's hard to, it's, it sounds like it's hard to get your words out when you're talking, too. And, and, and the only words you can use while you're on air is the, is the F word. Oh, my God. How many people know that you get, you, you know you get fined for that, right? Not you, but yeah. you know. Oh, yeah, no, her. No, no, she would get fined. Oh, oh excuse they, me. Changed, no, that, they changed the law now. <laughs> That's a $325,000 uh, fine yeah. for the performer, which happens to be Yuki. Yeah. And we've got Yuki's phone number here. And if the federal government heard the F word on the air, <laughs> uh, we would turn that good. phone number over to the federal government. Yeah. And then she could explain why she's gone the American airwaves using the F word. I already told you because I was mad. Why is you mad? What, what is you mad for? Because all you guys talk about is sex, sex, sex. And yeah, that's, 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 that's all you're supposed only thing to that talk about. For, but that's all females good for. Well, Some of them is good with their mouth, but I, I, I don't know. What? I said some of them is good with their mouth. You just got to find out. You know, it's hard to find them ones. But... <laughs> <laughs> you know, some of them use their mouth to say the f word. <laughs> well, if All you right. want to hear that we are only good for sex, then my mouth is pretty good for something else. Then the f word. No. <laughs> we already heard it, uh, Terry. What did you want to say to Yuki, the foreigner? Hello. I'm from Ventura County, and that is not a Ventura County accent. That's a homie accent. Like I said, I am ghetto. Can you take me out with a bong rip? Take y'all out with a bong rip. Okay, bong was perfect. <coughs> Holy Christ, they're killing me. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. If you're an iPhone user, did you know you can now stream our show over your iPhone? You can hear the show live on your iPhone anywhere in the United States. Go to BlowMeUpTom.com and get the details. You can use your iPhone like a Walkman and stream our show live. The Tom Likas Show.